Did you know that intermittent fasting is not a diet, but a pattern of eating? Yep, it's all about when you eat, not what you eat. In a world where we're bombarded with fad diets and weight loss quick fixes, intermittent fasting stands out as a surprisingly simple and intuitive approach. It's not about counting calories or restricting certain food groups. Instead, it's all about timing. Intermittent fasting involves cycling between periods of eating and fasting, creating a rhythm that can potentially lead to health improvements and weight loss. In this video, we're going to delve into the rules and principles of intermittent fasting. We'll explore the different fasting protocols, from the 16-8 method, to the 5-2 diet, and look at how these methods can be used to achieve your health goals. So, are you ready to explore the world of intermittent fasting? Hold on tight because we're diving right in. Intermittent fasting is like a roller coaster ride with ups and downs or in this case eating and fasting periods. It's not a in the conventionally understood sense. Instead it's more about when you eat rather than what you eat. Think of it as an eating rhythm, a cycle between periods of feasting and fasting, like a beautifully orchestrated symphony of your body's metabolic processes. During fasting periods your body goes from an energy storage mode to an energy usage mode. When you consume food your body stores some of that energy in your fat cells. However, during fasting periods insulin levels drop, signaling your body to start burning stored energy. Your body essentially switches from being a fat storing machine, a fat burning one. It's like turning your body into a hybrid car that knows when to switch gas and electric power. But the magic doesn't stop there. During fasting periods, cellular repair processes kick into high gear. This is the time when your body performs its routine maintenance fixing and recycling old damaged cells, like a night shift janitor who ensures everything is clean and ready for the next day. Now, you might be wondering, how do we apply intermittent fasting in practice? Well, there are several methods, each with its own rhythm. One popular method is the 16-8 method, where you fast for 16 hours and limit your eating to an 8-hour window. It's like having a long night's sleep and skipping breakfast. Another method is the 5-2 diet where you eat normally for five days of week and restrict your calories for two non-consecutive days. It's like having too many vacations from eating each week. Just remember, intermittent fasting isn't about starving yourself. It's about giving your body break from constant eating. It's a way to hit the reset button on your metabolism and promote health and longevity. Intermittent fasting is like a tune-up for your body, helping it run more efficiently and smoothly. Remember, it's not about eating less, but less often. If you're finding this video helpful and want to discover more ways to promote health and longevity, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content. Just like any game, intermittent fasting has its rules. And no, they don't involve starving yourself. Let's dive into the golden rules of this fascinating eating pattern. First and foremost, intermittent fasting is about timing. It's a game of when, not what you eat. The most common protocol is the 16-8 method. This involves fasting for 16 hours and then eating within an 8-hour window. Think of it as giving your body a 16-hour vacation from digestion, allowing it to focus on other important tasks like cellular repair and fat burning. But wait, there's more. There's also the 5-2 diet, where you eat normally for 5 days and restrict calories on 2 non-consecutive days. The beauty of intermittent fasting is its flexibility. You get to choose the method that best fits your lifestyle and preferences. Now let's address the elephant in the room hunger during fasting periods. The good news is, drinking water, coffee, or tea during your fasting hours is A-OK, -okay. plus, these can help you stave off hunger pangs. So, remember to stay hydrated. But what about when it's finally time to break your fast? This is where the rule of nutrient-dense foods comes into play. Instead of reaching for the nearest bag of chips, opt for whole, unprocessed foods. Think lean proteins, fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. These foods will not only keep you fuller for longer but also provide the nutrients your body needs to thrive. But what if you slip up? Maybe you ate outside your eating window or indulged in a midnight snack. Hey, we're all human. The important thing is to hop back on the fasting wagon as soon as you can. Consistency is key in intermittent fasting, and a small slip up here and there won't derail your progress. One more thing before we wrap up the rules. Listen to your body. If you're feeling lightheaded or unusually tired, it might be a sign that your body needs more fuel. Intermittent fasting should make you feel good, not run down. So don't be afraid to adjust your fasting schedule or eating window as needed. Remember, intermittent fasting isn't a one-size-fits-all approach. Everyone's body reacts differently, and what works for one person might not work for another. 
The key is to experiment and find the fasting protocol that works best for you. So, the key takeaway? Eat, hydrate, fast, repeat. And above all, remember to enjoy the journey. After all, intermittent fasting isn't just about losing weight or improving health, it's about discovering a new way of eating that can help you live a more balanced, energized life. So are you ready to give intermittent fasting a shot? Who doesn't love a good perk? Well, intermittent fasting is full of them. Let's dive in and uncover the health benefits that intermittent fasting offers. Picture this, you're on a diet but you're not just losing weight, you're also enhancing your cognitive function, improving your metabolic health and even potentially adding a few extra years to your life. Sounds like science fiction, right? But with intermittent fasting, it's science fact. First off, weight loss. When you're in a fasted state, your body needs to find energy somewhere and your fat stores are the first port of call. This process is like your body's internal spring cleaning, getting rid of the excess baggage you've been carrying around. Next up, the brain boost. Fasting can stimulate a process known as autophagy, a cellular cleanup crew that gets rid of the junk in your brain. Think of it as your brain's personal Marie Kondo, tidying up and sparking joy in your neurons. What about your metabolic health? Well, fasting can help regulate your insulin levels, reducing your risk of type 2 diabetes. It's like giving your internal sugar processing factory a well-deserved break. And let's not forget longevity. Some studies suggest that fasting could help you live longer by reducing risk factors for age-related diseases. It's almost like discovering the fountain of youth, just without the mythical water. But don't just take my word for it. Numerous scientific studies back these benefits up. Researchers have found that intermittent fasting can lead to significant weight loss, improve brain function, optimize insulin regulation, and potentially even extend lifespan. Just remember, while the benefits are promising, they're not guaranteed for everyone. Our bodies are unique, and what works wonders for one person might not work the same for another. That's the beauty of being human, so intermittent fasting is not just a trend, it's backed by science. Ready to take on the intermittent fasting challenge? Here's how you can ace it. First things first, start off slow. If you're used to eating every two hours, jumping straight into a 16-hour fast might feel like trying to run a marathon with no training. Instead, gradually increase your fasting window over a few weeks. This gives your body time to adjust and makes the transition smoother. Now let's talk food. The beauty of intermittent fasting is that it doesn't dictate what you eat, but when you eat. However, this doesn't mean you have free reign to binge on junk food during your eating window. Opt for nutrient-dense foods that fuel your body and keep you satiated. Think lean proteins, healthy fats, and lots of fruits and vegetables. Remember, quality matters just as much as quantity. Meal planning can be your secret weapon. Having a game plan reduces the temptation to reach for unhealthy snacks when hunger strikes. Prep your meals ahead of time and make sure they're balanced and satisfying. Listen to your body. If you're feeling lightheaded or unusually tired, it might be a sign that you need to adjust your fasting schedule or your food intake. Intermittent fasting should make you feel energized and focused, not weak or foggy. Don't be afraid to tweak your plan until you find what works best for you. Consistency is key. Like any lifestyle change, intermittent fasting is a marathon, not a sprint. It might take some time to start seeing results, but stick with it. The rewards are worth the wait. Lastly, consult with a healthcare professional before diving into intermittent fasting, especially if you have underlying health conditions or specific dietary needs. They can provide personalized advice and ensure you're fasting safely and effectively. Remember, it's not a race. Start slow, listen to your body, and enjoy the journey. The road to health and wellness is a personal one and there's no one-size-fits-all approach. So take your time, be patient with yourself, and remember, the goal is progress, not perfection. You've got this. So, there you have it, the ins and outs of intermittent fasting. We've journeyed through the basics, explored the golden rules, highlighted the potential health benefits, and shared some top tips for success. Remember, intermittent fasting isn't about starving yourself, it's about timing your meals to maximize your body's potential. It's a change that could offer you a world of benefits. Now, it's your turn to give intermittent fasting a go. Don't forget to share your experiences with us, and before you leave please do us a small favor. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. Your support means a lot to us. And for more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We've got plenty of topics lined up for you. Stay tuned and catch you in the next one.